Georgian Emergency Response and Rescue Team, who are basically police officers. They have been assembled in preparation for a hunt for radioactive sources believed to be missing in Georgia. The task is not completely new to them, as in February 2002, these emergency workers participated in the actual recovery of two radioactive sources. In June, the International Atomic Energy Agency, with experts from four countries, supported Georgian survey operation designed to track down other so-called orphan sources. Member countries donated various types of sensitive radiation detectors. On the training ground near Tbilisi, the main target was to teach emergency workers how to use this equipment in the mountains. The teams were to discover a hidden, although a weak source, placed in a protective container. A long road from Tbilisi to western Georgia, some 600 kilometers away from the capital, into a picturesque but rough environment. The last leg of the journey goes through Inguri Gorge, which is a unique environment with risky roads and snow peaks of up to 5,000 meters. It is believed that the basin of Inguri River had a communication system and the radioactive sources powered communication network of Inguri Hydropower Station. In the chaos that accompanied the collapse of the Soviet Union, many of the radioactive sources were left behind or orphaned and have slipped beyond control. The operation base, actually an abandoned school from where the survey has been launched. This place is home to a mix of ethnic groups, close to a zone on conflict, and Kalashnikov automatic rifle is a necessary security attribute. Agency staff and international experts followed survey routes together with Georgian radiation specialists. I believe uh, that uh, this is unique uh, operation uh, for the whole agency. Uh, different departments of the agency, different organizations uh, from Georgia and uh, experts uh, uh, from uh, some countries uh, participate uh, in its implementation. And I also would like to underline the uh, human uh, dimension of this uh, activity uh, since we try to reduce uh, the radiophobia of the local population. A powerful radiation scanner capable of detecting a radiation source at a distance of one kilometer was mounted on a vehicle. In places accessible on food only, the search continued with a handheld device. At the start of the operation, it was believed that other two powerful radiation sources were yet to be found. But non-discovery of any other source does not mean the failure of the operation. On the contrary, it is a confirmation that no radiation hazards exist in this area.